The Carishiana are an indigenous tribe living in the western Amazon region of Brazil, primarily in the state of Rondonia. With a small population, they have preserved a distinct cultural identity despite pressures from colonization and deforestation. Historically semi-nomadic, the Carishiana practiced hunting, gathering, and small-scale agriculture, maintaining a deep connection to their environment. They first made sustained contact with the outside world in the mid-20th century, which brought both opportunities and threats, including exposure to disease and land encroachment. For this video, I gathered nine Carishiana genomes from the Human Origins dataset. I ran them through my trait predictor tool to identify predisposition to disease and QP admixture to determine their historical ethnic breakdown. According to this QP admixture model I made, the Carishiana tribe of Brazil are roughly half ancient North Eurasian and half East Eurasian, although depending on the right pops they end up scoring anywhere from 28 to 60 percent a. People don't realize how easy QPDAM is to manipulate so you should take these runs with a grain of salt. Every sample was female so there is no IDNA data for me to display. Most of the samples scored East Eurasian phenotypes, although two samples did end up with West Eurasian phenotype predictions such as Volgid and Stranded. Every sample was predicted to have dark hair, dark eye color, and light brown skin tone. The samples mostly had straight hair, although there were individuals that scored curly and even kinky hair. Every sample scored snub nose shape and every sample was protected from male pattern baldness. The samples scored very high for odds of hemoglobin E disease and the majority of the samples carried risk variants for this condition. They also had a high predisposition to corneal astigmatism, type 2 diabetes, but very low predisposition to autoimmune disease based on HLA genotypes. The samples scored low for odds of stroke, high for odds of atrial fibrillation, and low for odds of various cardiovascular issues. The samples scored very high for odds of depression, bipolar disorder type 1, Alzheimer's, and autism. Only two samples carried any risk variants for polycythemia vera in the JAK2 gene. Every sample carried risk variants for testicular cancer in the KITLG gene, and every sample carried risk variants for leukemia in the NQ01 gene, although only three were homozygous for the risk allele. The samples had a high predisposition to allergy, and surprisingly over half carried the lactase persistence mutation in LCT gene. Although the persistent alleles in this particular SNP are found outside of Europe, lactase persistence is considered a heavily European trait. Every sample scored low for empathy levels based on OXDR genotype, and none of the samples carried risk variants for hemochromatosis, also known as the Celtic curse, in the HFE gene. Almost every sample was predicted to have low levels of vitamin D, low levels of LDL cholesterol, which is good, and low levels of HDL cholesterol, which is bad. You can purchase their raw DNA in 23andMe format from the link in the description of the video. Make sure you check the description for links to Andre DNA services and products. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.